What's going on friends? Today I have somewhat of a weird video for you, but it ends good, I promise. As some of you may very well know by now, I've recently been getting into truck camping. And along with that, there is a plethora of things you need to buy to be able to do that sort of a thing. And one of those very important items is a portable power source. Something like this. This is the Jackery Explorer 300. I just recently bought this thing and, well, there's a problem. You see, on my other channel, which I'll link down in the description below, I did a full unboxing of this thing. And one thing I noticed upon taking it out of the box was that it was discharged completely to zero. There was literally zero power left in it at all. And well, you know, while this thing was brand new, I kind of expected it to have at least a little bit of charge in there. So I grabbed the included power supply, plugged it in, and charged it up completely. The thing is though, after I charged it up, I didn't really have a use for it right away. So I put it on my desk right next to my computer, and there it sat for maybe, I don't know, two weeks or so, until I finally grabbed it and thought, I'm gonna plug my phone into this thing and see if it'll charge it. So I did just that and I realized that the battery was completely discharged to zero again after like two weeks or so. Maybe it was even sooner than that. Well, that can't be right. This is a lithium ion battery inside of this thing. It's supposed to last like forever, right? I mean, I think the box even says you're only supposed to charge it once every six months if you're not using it. So that kind of clued me into the fact that there very well may be a problem. And that's when I plugged it back in and over the course of time noticed that the battery was not holding a charge. And not only that, it was dying immediately after I would unplug it from the wall charger. Okay, so maybe I can show you what's going on. This is the same included wall charger. And right now, before I plug it in, I'm gonna hit this display button, which is also kind of the on off button. And you can see as I do that, nothing comes up on this display. Now let me go ahead and plug it in and we'll see what happens. Okay, with this thing plugged in, you can see this blue status light is on, showing that we are receiving power from the wall charger. And you can see the screen showing exactly how much power is going into it. And you can also see that the battery's charge level is about 30%. The Jackery's been charging for a few minutes now, but what's odd is you can see that it does say that we're at 70%. There's no way in heck that that went from 30% to 70% in literally two minutes. You can also see that it's showing zero watt coming in. The status light is on and you can see that we have zero watts. Now let me go ahead and unplug it. And I want you to watch this screen. It's going to light up and flicker. See that? That was the unit dying. After that flicker, I can go ahead and try to hit this display button and absolutely nothing will happen. This unit is dead. So what happens? Where do I go from here? Well, like I said, the story does have a happy ending, I hope. And that's because I got in touch with Jackery and they sent me a replacement unit. I've yet to unbox this thing. It is still brand new in the box. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna spare you from unboxing all the bits and pieces in here. I'm just gonna take the unit out and we are going to look at it and see if there's a charge on it, uh, taking it out of the box for the very first time. All right, got that open. Okay, let's get this Jackery out of here. All right, here it is, the brand new Jackery Explorer 300. You can see it still has the plastic on the screen there. This thing is brand spanking new. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this display button, which is also kind of the on off button. And we'll see if the screen lights up and if there's any charge on this thing. So here we go. Ah. The screen lit up. It looks like there is a charge. It says 47%. That's definitely a different result than I had the first time I unboxed my other one. So that right there is a good sign. And I'm assuming that because of that, this is probably working and functioning as it should. Because remember with my first one, I hit the display button, taking it out of the box and nothing happened. And by the way, I'll link that original video down in the description below. And quickly, in case some of you don't know, this brand is Jackery of course, this is a portable power station. And what that basically means is it's a lithium battery and it has various methods for charging your devices. You have your typical 12 volt car charging port. 
You also have two full-size 110 volt AC outlets like you'd find in your house. And you have a trio of USB outputs. And this top one, which is a USB-C port, can also be inputted to charge the unit. And that's pretty much the gist of it, guys. It's a lithium ion battery in a pretty case that can charge your devices in various ways. And that's why I was a little surprised to learn that this first product that I had ever purchased from them had a problem. Thankfully, I was able to easily contact customer service, tell them the issue, and very quickly they tried to make it right, which they did. They sent me out a brand new unit along with a return label so that I can ship them back this malfunctioning unit. They also, at my request, gave me the option of a full refund, but I decided to try it one more time. And so here we are just moments out of the box and I can already tell you I'm pretty confident that this one is actually going to work. I'm hitting the on button or the display button and I'm getting not only a lit up display, but a battery percentage. And this is exactly what I think it should be doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing in and get it fully charged. Here's what comes in the box and you have your typical 12 volt car outlet. You can charge this thing with your car as you drive. And of course we have our typical household wall charger. And I can tell you right now that this one is actually a different charger than the one I got the first time. That is strange. Right away I can see that this one has a status light and also that this cordage is a little thinner. Looking at the back of it here you can see the brand name says Hunt Key, but I do see that it says Jackery Japan right there. And here is the original one that I got and you can see it's by a different company and there is no sort of status light on this which when I first unboxed that I thought was kind of odd. I always like having a status light just so you can tell that the thing is on. All right, I have the new adapter plugged in and we are going to plug this thing in. Okay, everything's looking good. Still says 47%. It shows that it's charging. I can see 76 watts there. So this is good. It looks like we're charging and we're still showing 76 watts. So, so far, so good. By the looks of it, it seems that this unit is actually working properly. Of course, I've yet to use it, but I can tell that it is charging properly. And that's something that the other unit wasn't doing. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to keep this one and use it many, many times on my truck camping trips which is what I was intending to use it for. I'll let this thing charge for a few hours and come back to it when it's at 100% and we'll check it to make sure that it actually works. The new Jackery has now hit 100% on the charge level. You can also see that there is zero watts going into this, so it knows smartly, of course, that it is fully charged and it's not charging anymore. Also, if you look down here, the status light that used to be blue is now green. So to me, it seems pretty obvious this Jackery E300 is fully and completely charged and I can take it off of the charger. While our original unit is still completely dead, the new unit now shows 100%. All right, so here we are with our fully charged Jackery and I'm going to, for the first time, actually try to charge something. And I believe the way to do that is maybe plug in what you're gonna charge and then you gotta press the button, you know, corresponding with the output. Like this button here is for the USB ports, this button here is for the AC output, and this put button here is for the DC out, which is the car charger. So first up to be charged is this very small camera battery here. The end of it is just a typical USB port. So I'm going to simply plug it in and nothing happens exactly like what I thought until you press that button there. And you can see we are now charging. We have a red status light on this battery, meaning that it's fully dead and it is currently being charged. I also have this larger battery that goes to my Sony A7S. And this type of a charger is the AC wall outlet type. And we're gonna go ahead and plug this thing in too, just to make sure that it will simultaneously charge two different batteries, and I fully expect it to. I'm gonna have to charge this upside down because it is a little too tall to be charged the opposite way. So again, I'll just hit the button here. I heard a fan kick on for just a split second. Both green status lights are on and the battery is being charged. And this one wasn't fully dead, that's why we have uh, two green lights there. All right, right now we have two camera batteries that are charging simultaneously without any issues whatsoever. If we look closely at the screen here, we can see we're outputting about 13 watts and you can see the charger itself is still showing 100%. At this point, we're only charging two somewhat small batteries, but I'm really happy to say that the other Jackery didn't do this whatsoever. So right now, I'm pretty much assuming that this Jackery E300 is working properly 
as they designed it to. That being said, we'll let these two batteries charge to 100% and then we'll check the status of the Jackery. Okay, the larger of the two batteries is done charging. All the status lights there are turned off. That means the battery is fully charged. So I'll go ahead and remove this now. To turn off these AC outlets, I'm gonna press the button and there you can see the green status light disappears, showing that these are now deactivated. Also, if we look at the screen there, you can see we are sitting at about 98% left on the battery inside the Jackery. And this little battery is still charging, and it probably has a ways to go because it was completely depleted. So we'll let this stay on until it's done charging. Some time has passed, and this little battery is now fully charged, as indicated by the green status light there. So I can now unplug this one. And then I'll turn off the button. You can see we are at 98% on the Jackery. And the last thing I wanna do is take the light. You can see this giant LED light that I'm using to film my scene here and plug it in to the Jackery and light the Jackery with the Jackery. So I'll go ahead and unplug it from here. And then I'll plug it into the Jackery. We are completely plugged in and now I will just turn on the outlets here And there you go. We are now being completely lit for the scene of the Jackery by the power of the Jackery. This light is pretty large, but it is LED, so it probably doesn't draw a whole lot of power. But still, you can see the Jackery out in the middle of nowhere can be used for so many different things. This is exciting. Well, I'm happy to report that I think I finally have a fully functioning Jackery Explorer 300. The goal of this video was not to bash Jackery by any means. I wanted to show that I was randomly sent a unit that didn't function properly. And upon contacting Jackery, they were very nice with me, gave me a few options, one for the refund and one to send out a replacement unit. I opted for the replacement unit. They sent it right out and this one is working properly. So I'm thankful for that. I did do some research looking into these portable power stations. I found obviously Jackery and Goal Zero. Both of those companies seem to be the two big boys in the game of portable power. But in the end, it was Jackery's high quality and very competitive price that stole the show. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that thumbs up and also consider subscribing if you're not already. I'll have links down in the description below. But for One Road, I'm Jimmy, and I will see you in the next one.